Good morning, everyone. What a beautiful day. It is beautiful. It's 73 degrees in Dublin, Georgia, where I am. And I'm out here. It is awesome. I don't really, I have a, a fleece lined little shirt here. It's kind of thick, not too thick, but it's a little bit. And I really don't even need this because it's kind of warm compared to what it has been. So, I've decided to come out here this morning on this beautiful morning. Uh, let me have a sip of coffee, y'all. I haven't had time to drink, uh, drink any right lately. Oh, it's good. Y'all, the time is getting closer and closer to Christmas. <laughs> it's not long now. And it's just going and going. I, don't, I just don't seem like I can keep up with it. I've been doing a lot of things. I've been going to dinners and senior dinners. And I've been going to senior suppers and all kind of stuff, y'all. And here, here's your coffee. I didn't. I'm sorry, I forgot to tell y'all. There's your coffee. Have a sip. It's black Folgers coffee. This is my big cup of Folgers coffee. And I'm going to drink some. <laughs> it, the sun is shining. And it's... I don't know where my birds are, but... They're here somewhere. But anyway, they'll be they'll be here. They they come and go. I mean, they don't go far. They they uh, fly up in the trees and uh, I hear one, but I don't see one right. Oh, I just saw one fly down. Oh, he went back up in that tree. And it's got leaves on it. It's a water water oak, and that is a, a tree that does not. The leaves never shed off completely. There's leaves always on it, winter and summer. Uh, it never is just limbs. Like some trees I see out there, it doesn't have any foliage on it at all. But this tree, that's not probably the proper name for it, but that's what we've always called it, a water oak. And I planted that little tree, and it's a big tree now. My birds love to get in that tree and hide from the hawks and all the predators that they're afraid of. And I see a rose bush out there blooming in my, out there. And a daffodil, I see a daffodil blooming right out there. Okay, y'all, uh, my son is a, used to roof houses. Now he makes antennas for without cable. You don't have to have cable to watch TV and he put me one up and took I, I discontinued my cable and I watch TV and I don't have to pay anything. I just well I didn't have to pay anything. <laughs> my son done this for me without me having to pay. That wasn't that nice of him. <laughs> And it works. He invented this antenna that picks up channels and and you don't have to be hooked to a cable like a company that you have to pay every month. So anyway, he's a, he's a carpenter and he, he can do anything. He can do wiring up stuff. He can do anything just about if he wants to. <laughs> that's, the, that's the main thing, if he wants to. But he felt like doing something for me he done this he made me a bird house is that not cute y'all and I've been trying to figure out what to do with it what to do to it and I've thought 
thought up something that I thought would be look great. Oh. Well, you know it's not cold, but it, the wind's blowing a little. My plate uh, just blew away over there, but it's not far. It, it can't go too far. But anyway, I'm going to work on this birdhouse, and I'm going to show y'all how I'm going to decorate. It's going to be cute. Oh, there's a bird. There's another bird. Oh, that's doves, I think. They don't, they don't care for me being out here real close. You know, they like to stay out there a little ways away from me. <laughs> I don't hurt them, but they don't, they don't, they're, they're wild and they don't like to come right up here where I am. But anyway, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, I'm going to mix up some paint. And I'm going to paint this, uh, y'all don't know what I'm going to do, I know, but anyway, I'll show you as I go. I'm just, I'm just going to put some, a darker color on it to, so it won't be so light, because I'm going to do something, <laughs> and I'm going to show y'all in a minute. Y'all, if y'all don't have anybody to build you a birdhouse, they sell them at Walmart and, or places like that. You know, you can buy a little birdhouse and decorate it if you would like. I need to put this on the turntable where I can... This is apple barrel brown, y'all. If you're wondering what I'm what I'm painting with, that's what it is. It doesn't have to be perfect or anything like that because it's gonna have something on top of it. I wanted it dark up under. Uh, y'all understand when I get started I'm going I'm going to show you as I go I don't like to say what I'm going to do all that much before I do it because I may change my mind But I'm pretty sure that I'm going to do this, what I'm planning on doing. Y'all, we had a Christmas... Uh, play at our church uh, last night. It was awesome. The kids just had the best time and that go up there and we got a we got a bunch of little children <laughs> up there. 
and they're in the, in the program, you know, we include them in all our activities if we can, you know. You no, know, it was ending and we looked and Santa came in the door with his red bag and talked to all the children and asked them what they wanted for Christmas and and they loved it. <laughs> they loved it. And I did too. I told y'all this didn't have to be perfect and it does it. Okay. Let me just sit it up here and then I'll take it off. If and after the play, we had a supper at our church. We had ham, string beans, all kind of desserts, salad, and rolls and let me have a sip of coffee i i went ahead and painted because my camera cut off and i had black paint all over me this turntable is not going to be right i don't like it Let's see if this is going to work. One's going to fell off. Y'all, I... I'm putting this uh, hot glue on here because this E6000 is not holding it where I need it to be. So I'm putting this on here and I'm going to put resin on it and that resin will hold these rocks. Can y'all see that? All right, now we're going to start on this side. Y'all, that looks great, don't it?
I'm back, y'all. <laughs> I've been out here a long time working on this little house. I didn't know it was going to take this long to do that. But I, I'm about done with this part. I'm putting hot glue on it till I can get resin on it, and it'll stay till then. I don't have to put that other glue on it if I'm gonna put resin on it because the resin will hold it. Put some more rocks on here. I got to get a birdhouse ready so when spring gets here, I'm going to have a lot of birds to be nesting, so I want to get started. Y'all, I cannot believe this weather is so pretty. But it's not going to stay this way, y'all. It's going gonna, it's gonna to get cold again. And I'm surprised it's, it has it yet. This uh December the sixteenth. Y'all see the sun's going down over there. Y'all, I'm probably going to turn it off because... It's getting late, and I'm going to go in the house, and I'll work on it uh, some more tomorrow. Uh, I didn't uh, really think it would take this long to put the rocks on this little birdhouse, but everything I try seems to be <laughs> a little more than I thought. And I'm going to tell y'all about the top whenever I get back out here. I won't tell you now. I'll wait till I come back. Good morning, everyone. I'm Helen from Georgia, and guess what? In Georgia, it is raining. The day I was going to come out and try to finish up my, my birdhouse, it's raining, and I had to get on the porch. And that's not what I was planning, y'all. Uh, I... My camera cut off while I was working on it, so, and it was getting late, so I just uh, took it in the house and finished putting the rocks 
on it inside and this is I think it's absolutely beautiful y'all <laughs> and I haven't told y'all yet what I'm planning on doing uh let me have a sip of coffee y'all it's been a hectic morning I got up and pouring down rain it's slacked up some but it is wet out there it's still I don't think you can see my my rock garden out there where the birds usually go there it is I, I yeah you can see it a little but it's it's all water y'all I'm telling you but I'm not complaining too much. It's not real cold, y'all, but they say it's going to get cold. Here's to y'all. Good morning. Good morning. Y'all come on and look. See what I'm creating today. Started yesterday. And I've got a little story to tell y'all. <laughs> I didn't tell it yesterday because I was thinking... And I can't talk and think that well together. But I've got my... I didn't really know how I was going to put my rocks on here. And I'm... I know now what I'm going to do with the, with the top, y'all. Let me show y'all what I'm going to do. Y'all remember last year or so, I don't remember when, but uh, I found this big, big pine cone. I mean, it is big, y'all. I, I don't have one up here to compare it to, but my little pine cones come up to about here on this one. About here. <laughs> They're not big like this. This is a big pine cone. And I thought that was the prettiest thing. Cody was walking up the road and he saw these pine cones and he he had the backpack and he was he got over there and picked up some to bring home because he knows I like things like that. So he found this pine cone up the road and I couldn't believe how big they were. It was just the biggest ones I've ever seen in my life. And I'm almost 82 years old. Not quite. Till March, I'll be 82. But I've never seen a pine cone that big. So, guess what I'm going to do with it? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut these things off. And I'm going to use them on the roof of this birdhouse. And then I'm going to put resin on it. So that's what I'm going to do now is get ready. I don't even remember if I drank some coffee or not, y'all. I'm, I'm about halfway not here. <laughs> Seems like the weather is... Well... I'm not going to complain because it's raining a little, but it's not freezing cold or I couldn't be out here. And and this is where I want to be, out here where I can, uh, I love the outdoors. And I'm on my porch now. I'm on my little front porch that uh, is out here and I'm, I'm not getting wet. It's damp a little, but I'm not getting wet. So, where is my, my scissors? Here they are. Okay, I'm going to... I'm going to turn this around for y'all. I don't even know if y'all can see it. It's kind of dark up under here. I'm going to start cutting these little things off. There they are. Can you see them? Anyway, I'm going to put them up here like this. I think that's going to be absolutely beautiful. 
I'm going to cut them off. And these old scissors are not the best in the world, y'all. Anyway, I'll tell you, I'm going to tell y'all something while I'm doing this. This weekend, we had a supper at a church for people that are single. And you can't be married to go to this supper. So, I mean, you... Yes, you can't be married. You can't have a husband. <laughs> anyway, I was uh, I was informed that I could go, which I'm I live the furthest away, and and these ladies that I go with, they're my awesome friends and family, and I. I was, uh, most of them is older than me. Not all, but one, one lady is not older than me. Uh, so, but two of the ladies that was in the, I took my car over and I picked that lady up and, and uh, she wanted me to drive her car, so I drove the car. She's got one of them fancy cars that doesn't have a key. <laughs> and I I never, you know, my car has a key and this one did, didn't have a key. So she, she got in it and told me, you know, I put it in a reverse and backed it out and left my car and, and got in this car and went to pick up another, uh, my sister-in-law, my first sister-in-law, not my second, not my sister-in-law to the one I had that was so bad. Anyway, this was my my bo my children's uh, dad's sisters and sister-in-law. So. Uh, I got over there and I went, got in and went and picked up this lady that she's in real bad shape. She can't see and she can't uh, drive. So I was uh, volunteered to go get her. You got to, uh, well, you got to help her down the steps and you got to help her back up the steps and she has a walker. And I finally got her, and we were kind of running close, you know, on time. And then we had to go pick another sister-in-law up, and she can't see. She has uh, that eye disease that uh, she goes to the doctor a lot for it, and the, and they ha have helped her a lot. Uh, and went and picked her up. Well, I didn't know the way to this place where we were going. The the sister-in-law that was uh, that I picked up last, she was going to tell us the way, and she did. She told us the way to get there, and we didn't have much time to spare when we got there. I had to uh, let them out at the door and get, her, uh, get the walker thing out and get it fixed so she could get in the, uh, it was a church where we went, and we got her out and got everybody out and got in the church. I went and parked the car in a place up down there where I could go get it whenever I got out and drive it back up there where they could get in it like like a chauffeur does, you know. <laughs> so we went in 
and we had uh, an awesome uh, supper. It uh, we had grilled steak. We had baked potato. We had uh, sour cream and all kind of salad and all kind of desserts and all kind of things and and they uh we all sat down and and ate and enjoyed our food and talking and each other that we haven't seen in a while and after after we ate there was a group uh that sang for us oh it was beautiful they had it was awesome that was the young uh girls that were singing was from down here not too far from where i live in another little little small town and uh they sang and then they gave out yeah, uh, they you, you draw you had a number. They gave you a number when you went in, and and you, when it was over, you uh. You looked on the back of your chair. And and it had a red tag on it. It had Christmas flowers on the table, and if your chair had a red tag on it, you got the flower. Guess what? My chair had a red tag on it. <laughs> I was so surprised. Anyway, let me get back to my story. This will, this is going. Can y'all see what I'm doing? I don't even think y'all can see me cutting this. Shoot. Let me move this and. Get it up here where y'all can see. I didn't know y'all couldn't see me cutting. But, Lord have mercy, I'm not all together, y'all. This is how much I've cut of this, this, uh, pine cone. Anyway, let me get back to my story. My, my chair had the red thing on it. And I got the Christmas flower. And then they have some bags up there gift bags and the number that you were given if you go up there and look at the bags you got the the bag that has the number on it that you have and I went up there and I saw my number and I picked it and and it had a lot of little goodies in it candy and Guess what, y'all? It had a free oil change for your car. And I hadn't done that yet because it hadn't. I've been so busy. But it's a free oil change for my car, and I need that because I haven't had mine changed in a, in a while. Oh, okay, uh, uh. All right, well, it got ready time to go. Y'all, <laughs> my bike fell down there. Got to go get it. Lord help. Just that don't happen again. Okay. Oh. I better hold on to it, hadn't I? Anyway, we got all our stuff and we we got ready to go and I had to go get the car 
Well, they all stood under the shelter and was waiting on me to bring the car so those people that can't walk all that well could get in. And they was all standing up there under the shelter. I'd been taking a bunch of pictures. I take pictures everywhere I go. Anyway, I was uh, under the shelter there they were under the shelter. I was. I went and got the car. And I pulled the car down there, not far from where the shelter was. And so, they was all standing up there waiting on me. And I went out there, and I, that car, I've never seen one like it. It is an awesome driving car, but it's got some things on it that I, I've never seen and never, my car's not like that. Well, this car will not open nothing, the trunk or nothing else, if you, if the door's open. Everybody has to be in the car and with the door closed for it to work. Well, we, we, we could, I went out there and I couldn't, I mashed all them buttons on that little device. There was a bunch of little buttons all the way down it, and I was mashing buttons. And I was doing all kind of stuff, trying to get that car open, and, and it wouldn't open. So, y'all, <laughs> that was, oh, Lord have mercy. Y'all, we, we had a time. Anyway, oh. Uh, Finally, the lady that owned the car finally came out there, and she said, "You, I said, I can't, I can't make the door open. I can't get the trunk open. I can't do nothing." She said, "Well, you at the wrong car." <laughs> the car that I somebody pulled up the side of my car side of the car that I was driving and I didn't know that car that well I didn't you know I, I it was dark and and there wasn't any light out there hardly I couldn't see and but she informed me that I was at the wrong car so we got it open and we oh Lord have mercy my, my thing fell over there again. Not not the pine gone, but my paper. Let me get down here and get it before I, I hope I don't fall off. Oh, good gracious. I had it and it, I didn't have it good. Y'all, if I fall off, y'all call 911. I got it. <laughs> oh, gracious. Oh, okay. Let me finish my story. I'm just going to set it right here. I'm taking it off of the thing so I can see what I'm doing. And uh, Oh, let me... I got the anyway y'all I had to get the uh the walker out so that uh, the, uh this my sister in law could get could get in the car. And we, we all finally got in the car. Well, we, we left, and I went down the road where, the way we came, and she told me how to get there, and I went that way, and I got, I got to the church. Well, she got in the back seat where she was all the time, but it was daytime when we went down there, and we could see good. Well, we. It was night. It was black night whenever we got out.
Now my camera cut off just then. Uh, I was telling him that we all got in the car and we all was uh, trying to, we, we was going back to take them home and I went down the road and I was just going down there talking and, you know, driving and uh, enjoying myself. And my sister-in-law back there said, I don't think we're going the right way. <laughs> she said, I think you, I think you uh, didn't, I think you uh, need to turn around. We, we went on down the road pretty good ways, and she said, Well, I don't, I don't see nothing that I recognize. And uh, we went on a, a little further, and she said, Oh, uh, we went on and went on, come down there to a road, and she said, We, we didn't, we didn't come the right way. You, you didn't. Uh, go back the way you went. I said, well, I thought I did. I, I thought I went the, you know, down that road. To, I, I went the, the way it looked like to me that I came. And she said, no, you didn't. You didn't, uh, you didn't go the right way. You, you made a, a wrong turn somewhere. I said, well, she said, well, we need to go back where we was and, and we done been driving uh, 15, uh, well, a while, we, we'd been driving. I mean, I had been driving. And I, I didn't think I'd done anything wrong. I mean, I didn't think I went the wrong way. But she kept insisting we need to go back and because we had went wrong. So we got on down there. Y'all... We was lost. <laughs> we couldn't see nothing. It was dark. The woman that was supposed to know the way, she could. She can't see good. She has uh, that disease in your eyes where your eyes, uh, where you can't uh, see. I can't remember what the name of it is. But anyway, and she was in the back seat. She couldn't see good in any way from back there. So, uh, we got on down the road, and and we we come to a a place, and, and we we turned turned around. We couldn't we couldn't see any road signs because it was dark as it could be, and one time I got. One time I got out of the car. I I was trying to get, there was a road sign over there, but we couldn't see it because it was, it was dark. We couldn't make out what it said. So I was going, I got a, a new phone and I, I can't work it that good. It's not, not easy. Cody's tried to tell me I don't know how many times, but I, I still can't find things when I need to on there. And I was going to get on my phone and find the flashlight, which <laughs> I couldn't find the flashlight. And that thing on your phone, it's got a Siri thing on it. And, and you ask Siri stuff you know about. Where, where something is. Well, I told it to call Cody. I thought Cody could tell me where the flashlight was at. Well, Cody told me where the flashlight was at. I still couldn't find 
I was pushing up on the screen and you're supposed to push down on it. And I, that's how much I know about this new phone. Anyway, well, I couldn't find it. Uh, and, and Cody said, ask Siri to tell you where, how to get to Dublin. Well, she didn't understand me. <laughs> Yo, we, we had the worst time you ever seen in your life. I was trying to talk to Siri and tell her where I, what I wanted. And my passengers were talking and Siri don't, don't, she don't, uh, you have to, if somebody's talking, and she gets mixed up about what what you want. So y'all we we finally drove to a place where we wasn't going. But we went there anyway. <laughs> and it was a town. And we finally, finally got on the road that we finally about halfway knew where we was going. And uh, we 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 got to this town where we where we 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 were supposed to be going. And and I was taking my sister-in-law to her house and, and she can't see. And it's hard to see at night, y'all, for all of us, I uh, mean, and I'm not the, I don't even care about driving at night. But this supper was at night and we wanted to go, so uh, we went. But we, Lord, had an adventure. I was trying to ask Siri something, and they was talking and wouldn't hush so I could ask her. They didn't know, they didn't know nothing about Siri, and I don't know much about her myself. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Well, anyway, we, uh, we, we got to the town where my sister-in-law lives and we went out there to her house well at, at her house and and I was gonna turn in at her house and I and and I was turning no no this ain't the right place no no well I didn't turn there because she said it wasn't the right place and I couldn't see all that great myself well we went on down it was the right place. She didn't. <laughs> I had to go to traffic out there on the main road just going. And us trying to, me trying to get to where I was supposed to be going and a t having a time doing it. Y'all, that was, Lord have mercy, y'all. Anyway, we, we left her, finally got her home. And, uh, Cody was at home, and, and I had went to eat, you know, and, and, and Cody didn't, I didn't fix it, he didn't want anything, but he decided while we was gone, he wanted something, and he wanted me to pick it up on my way back. Well, it was on the way, and I, I didn't think it was no problem. And so, when I, me and the lady that, that I was driving her car, we, I asked her, would it be all right if I stopped there and got Cody's food? He had ordered it already. And... She said, fine, you know, stop and get, get it. So I did. I stopped. And uh, 
I went in and told them, you know, that I was picking up an order for, for Cody. And it was kind of late. We, we drove a while, y'all, trying to find it where we was at. And, <laughs> oh, we, the lady in there, she, she went back there in the back and she didn't, uh, she didn't know nothing about no order. You know, she, well, I called Cody. Cody said I was at the wrong place. There's a place there. There's a Chinese place there, and there's a Mexican place right there next to each other. Well, I went to the wrong place. I went to the Chinese place, and he ordered Mexican. Lord have mercy, y'all. We trying to, you know, <laughs> I didn't know those two places were there that close together, and, well, I finally got Cody's food. I finally took the lady home. And I got my car, and I was so proud. My car don't drive near as good as hers, but I was so proud to get uh, in my car that I knew what to do and not. You know, that car is too smart for me. I don't think they'll... They probably is not going to want me to drive them nowhere again. <laughs> oh, that was an adventure, y'all. I just thought I'd tell y'all what, what things happen. Look at my roof, y'all. Oh, gracious. I, I still, and one one sister-in-law, she didn't go with us. She drove her own vehicle, and she was wondering where we were. And us out there try, driving all over the country, trying to find the way back to where we needed to be. Y'all. Things can happen that you... <laughs> I'm not that great a driver at night anyway. But I was in better shape than, than they were. So I got nominated to drive. They probably ain't going to never do that again. <laughs> oh, gosh, yo. I was, I, Cody was worried because, you know, we, and, and I was, I was trying to get my flashlight to work so I could see that sign out there side of the road. We couldn't see nothing because it was dark. All the road signs is way over there on the side of the road. And, and I got out one time trying to see and you still can't see. It's dark. I mean, it was black night. And you, you cannot see. But anyway, we made it home. And I was so proud to get home. Alive. And one time, that Siri that, you know, you could ask her something. You could ask her to, uh, where, where something is or what, you know, she, she can tell you if you, if you sort of let her. If she understands what you're saying. 
but these ladies were talking and they were they don't know nothing about Siri. They they don't know nothing about Siri. And I don't know much about her myself. But she one time I was asking her something and I think she thought it was a joke. She was laughing. I Mercy. Shall we? That that's that's something to remember because we we sure uh, was kind of uh, in a mess. You know things can happen. You know whenever you. Uh, You don't know the car, and you don't know where you're going. I mean, I've never been, well, I, I had been to that place, and I knew another way to go that I knew how to go there, but we went and picked up my sister-in-law, and, and it was, you know, I had to go another way way because if we had to went to get her and then we went way back the other way where I know how to go from here that was that was a different story so y'all y'all did y'all see the rain it is coming down now pretty well I don't think that they may not want me to drive them no anywhere else <laughs> and I don't care if they don't because I ain't I mean at night everything is different you, it doesn't you know things look different and, and you And looking is one thing, and being able to see is another. I couldn't see, because it was dark. But we made it, and that's a night to remember, because Cody was worried. He didn't know what to do. He was here, and, and we was over there in the middle of nowhere. Trees and back roads, and not, well, it was paved roads, but it, it was back roads. I mean, it was... A bunch of back roads and no, we'll be laughing about that for years. know about cars that doesn't have a key you know you get in it and you she knows what to do you know but she she doesn't drive well at night and I guess she thought I could do do okay but <laughs> oh my goodness they have that uh Every three months, they have that supper. Every three months. And in the summertime, y'all, it's daylight when we go. And, and I know where to go in the daytime. I can see. But whenever it's night and, and, and you can't see, oh, that looks awesome. Y'all. Yeah. Is that not? That's from this big old pine cone. <sighs> Y'all, that story was like driving Miss Daisy. But Miss Daisy was driving. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gracious. 
And the whole carload was Miss Daisy's, all of them. We was all in that category. All I was trying to tell each other what to do and where to go and how to go and And none of us didn't know too much. <laughs> and none of us could see that great. But we made it home. Y'all, I'm still... My camera cut off. And it's raining really pretty well right now. Uh, I wanted to get through with this uh, roof on this house. And I am going to get through with it, I guess. Uh, this, this weather is not cooperating that great. Y'all know I told you that I'm going to put resin on this. Uh, and it will hold everything in place. Uh, resin. Uh, it's like glue. Whatever's, whatever is under there whenever you uh, put your resin on there will be on there. Okay. Now I've got to put something right there. Yesterday, I didn't dream it would be raining today. But you can't ever tell what, what tomorrow will bring. In Georgia, that's the way it is. Oh my. It might be different somewhere else, but... See my battery flashing. If it goes off, I'm just going to turn it off till, and then I'm going. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to do, do my resin right now or not, but I probably will, and and let it be trying to dry.
I want to thank y'all for watching my videos and being so kind. I, I'm, I'm really, uh, I'm so busy. I, I, I'm just, I'm taking pictures uh, at church and I'm, and I just don't have time for to answer all the comments that you make. I'm so blessed and thankful that you do. I hope y'all understand that I'm I'm really uh, pushed for time, <laughs> and you know you have to you have to do a lot to prepare for a video. I do. People might not have to, but I do. Uh, I'm so thankful that y'all stay with me and uh, understand that I'm not real good at, at uh, comments and stuff. I, I don't have the time, really. It takes me so long to type out a comment. I really wished I was a little better at it than I am. But I hope y'all understand because y'all see my birdhouse. Oh, I got to get all these strings, and if you have some strings. I got this little lighter, this little thing. I see the back, the stuff about to give out. You can melt the little strings off with this. Cody showed me this at Walmart uh, that you can get this little torch and uh, I think that's absolutely beautiful y'all I know y'all think I think everything is but it is pretty much See, well, I'm making a little thing right here. <laughs> I just decided to do that at the last minute. Y'all hear the rain. It is really, really coming down.
Okay, y'all. I'm I'm finished with it. I'm going. I'm going to mix up my resin now and, and I'll be back. Don't go away. I'm going to put the resin on and then it'll be tomorrow before it'll be dry. So, is that not beautiful, y'all? Oh, that is awesome. I think so. See the birdhouse hole right there? Right. Y'all. I'll be back, y'all. I'm going to turn it off this time for sure. See y'all later in the, just a little while when I get my resin and all that together. I'm going to come out here and put it on here. And then I'll let it dry. See y'all later. Thank y'all so much for being my sweet, caring uh, YouTube family. Y'all are awesome. Awesome. Okay, y'all, this is my birdhouse in the top uh, with resin on it. I didn't do it outside because it's pouring down rain, and I didn't want to get, well, it won't dry out there anyway, so I, I decided just to go ahead and put the resin on it in here, and let y'all see it. I'm going to try to hold it and turn it a little bit where y'all can see it. I, I had to put down plastic everywhere. There's the front. Here's the back. Okay, that's my uh my birdhouse that that I fixed today, and there's the shingle roof that I put on with a uh, pine cone little things on the pine cone. Isn't it beautiful? It done great. Thank y'all so much for watching this video. Have a blessed, blessed, blessed day and subscribe and share and click the bell and thumbs up and all that. And I appreciate y'all watching my videos. Y'all are a blessing to me. Thank y'all so much for being my YouTube family. See y'all tomorrow. Bye-bye. Good morning on this beautiful, sunshiny morning. I am so thankful to see the sun and the, the blue skies and not rain. You know, when I was working on my project, it was raining. I had to get up on the porch. But it's not raining today. And this is my project, y'all. Is that not beautiful? I think that is so pretty. Look at all my rocks. I put resin on it, and it's there to stay. And I've got a little place out there. I have a telephone pole right there. I might show it. I might show y'all that in a minute. But uh, I have got a little uh, ledge out there that I've got a birdhouse sitting on. But I, I, I think I want to put this one out there instead of that one because this one is so pretty and when spring gets here I'll have birds in it and y'all let me have a sip of coffee are y'all are y'all having coffee this morning it's kind of cool I just asked Siri y'all my my thermometer thing that I had up there fell off and all that wind and broke y'all I didn't I didn't like that. I, I guess I'm gonna have to get another one. I like to know what temperature it is. But I asked Siri what temperature it was 
and she told me the lows and the highs. I wanted to know what temperature it was right now. She said it's 45 degrees, so that's not, that's not real bad, but, you know, you can bear it. You know, it's not real cold. It's not, but it's not as warm as it was the day I started this. It's, it's not that warm, but I just think this is just absolutely in the resin. Look how the resin made it shine and the rocks shine. I, I found these rocks at the dollar store in little bags about, about like this. Uh, and I poured them all out on a tray and I picked out and that's my problem y'all I tried to pick out something that fits there I just seem like I've seen people putting rocks on things on on the computer and they just pick them up and stick them anywhere my problem is I don't want to just stick them anywhere I want to stick them where I want them to go <laughs> and where I think it looks good I like to mix up the dark ones and the light ones and, uh, you know, I like to, I want it to look the way I want it to look and not the way it would look if I just stuck them up there anywhere. I hear, oh, I see a red bird back there. I hope y'all can see it. I can't see nothing back there. But anyway. I, I am so thankful to get done with this because it took a little longer than I planned because of the weather. The weather uh, was beautiful the day I started. And I, I, I wanted my rocks. I wanted a dark one and a light one and wherever I wanted them, you know. And I started not being so particular before it ended. I was just trying to get them on here because it was taking so long but that day it was it was a pretty day and it was warm and it wasn't and I still have daffodils out there blooming and a rose bush out there I'm, I'm gonna walk y'all out there and let y'all see that it was cold it was freezing last night because I have water in my bird little bird bath right here right now it's 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 I and, and my uh, pansies are about froze, but they'll come back out. They never, the cold does not kill them. I've never had any to just freeze and die. I, I have always had them. And they survived the winter just fine. They, I, I, I love them. They are beautiful. I love the colors they are. And... I'll be so glad when the leaves get off the trees back there in the woods where it's a, a no, no leaves. But anyway, I want to thank y'all so much for watching my videos. I am so blessed. I have so many caring people that watch my videos and lift me up. I, 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 I have so much uh, people that care. The other day when, when the tornadoes was around, it was not in this town. The tornadoes did not come on this, in this town. But it did come around. And people were worried about me being in the tornadoes and and I got a thing on my computer to let your fans know you're okay. What in the world, y'all? I couldn't believe that people were that worried about me down here in Georgia <laughs> being in the storm. Y'all, it's, it's just awesome y'all it is awesome and I don't know if I even told y'all that I'm Helen from Georgia 
or did I? <laughs> anyway, y'all know I am. Anyway, they were some, they said 63 miles of tornadoes on the ground without coming up. It went 63 miles on the ground. That is terrible, y'all. That's a long way to destroy everything that was in its path. Oh, let me have a sip of coffee. I haven't had one, have I? I don't think I have. No, I haven't. <laughs> y'all, I, I hope I don't get too forgetful, but I get to doing something and I forget about everything, you know? Oh, it's so good. So good and strong. <laughs> and y'all, y'all, please subscribe and share and click the bell and thumbs up. And uh, seems like, you know, seems like my subscribers went down uh, for some reason. It might be because of all that scare about the children thing, you know, about uh, you had to put your uh, a video uh, for children or not for children. And, and some people uh, were afraid they were going to get taken off of YouTube because they had things on there like that, you know, that might uh, attract children. But... Uh, I don't know if some people got off, got uh, taken off of YouTube because of that, and my viewers went down or, or what. Really, I don't know. But anyway, y'all, please keep watching and uh, sharing and subscribing and all that you do for me. It helps me along my way. <laughs> I am just so blessed and thankful. And all the activities we've had going on has kept me so busy. I haven't had time for anything hardly. I'm just, y'all don't, uh, this is, I'm not complaining, y'all. I, I love doing this. I love making videos. I love editing all the parts out that is not very interesting. Right, you know, you can do something just over and over and over and over, and you get tired of seeing that. I try to cut out a lot that is just over and over, like putting these rocks on here, just putting every little rock, and I had to find a place where that rock would fit, and you got to pick through all kind of rocks and all kind of stuff, and these uh, pine cone uh, shingles. I had to cut them off and stick them on here like a roof. <laughs> I, I'm not a roofer and Cody said I should have done something else but I couldn't, I mean that's all the, all the uh, a pine cone uh, little things that I had, I had to make them work to get through with it because I didn't have another big fine comb and those other little ones are about the size of the tip end of my little finger. These are like bigger than my little finger. So y'all have a blessed, blessed, blessed day, rest of the day. And y'all have a Merry Christmas. I hope I'll be on here before Christmas. And you know my giveaway is uh, the last day of December. So we're going to get together on that. And I've got some uh, fan mail to open when I can get Cody together. And okay, let me show you where I'm. my flowers out here. And then I'm going to uh, be working on this video. <laughs> okay. Let me let me turn around here and show you where I'm going to put I'm going to put the bird house.
I'm going to put the birdhouse right there on that little ledge that's sitting out there. I'm not going to do it right now because I'd have to get out the ladder and I'd have to... I'm going to do it uh, when it's a little warmer. When I can get Cody up to help me. There they are. It's the wrong time of the year for this to be doing this. Okay, there's my my roses that's blooming. Okay, I'm going to turn it off right now and go back to the house. While I was out there at the pine tree, I was going to show y'all the difference in this pine cone that I have in the pine comb that I used on this project. This would not work <laughs> at all. So there's the difference in the size. This is a giant pine comb. I've never ever seen one this big before. But anyway, that's what I used and I just wanted to let y'all see what the difference in the sizes of a pine comb. Okay, y'all, let me turn it back around here. Oh, let me open it and show y'all. There's the inside and there's the uh, top off. And I'm going to put it back on here. Okay, that's it. Y'all, I'm going to see y'all later. I'm going to go in here and edit this video and try to get it on here today sometime. I don't like much. I've got most of it done, but this part I haven't done yet. So y'all, y'all be blessed and bless others. Pray for others and bless them because there's a lot of people out there this season is very sad about their loved ones uh, are not with them and and they need a comfort a kind word to help them maybe get through this season i know that it's hard because i have a son that's not here with us and and it is hard but some some of my friends uh at our church has lost their son not just recently and I know it's gonna be hard for them because of this season it is and they always were together they were a close family and he won't be there but thank the Lord they know where he is and and they're rejoicing in that but they still miss the him being in their family presence at Christmas so, bye-bye, y'all, and be kind and caring to others like y'all are to me. Bye-bye.